everybody, this is David Olson from Meet the Experts. Today we're with John Kaz from MetLife Auto and Home Insurance. Join us as we meet the experts. I started in the insurance business in 1985 and I came on board with MetLife Auto and Home in 1991. My tagline at one time in my career when I was younger, if you can crash it, lose it, have it stolen or burn it down, I could probably insure it. So all of the above. <laughs> your car, your home, your boat, your toys, that's our okay. product line. If someone's trying to save on their homeowner's insurance, I heard that it's possible maybe with the security system that 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 can save them money. Is there anything else though like that that they can do to save money? Insurance companies love the fact that the homeowner takes initiatives to prevent their home from any kind of loss of that nature and a security system is a good start. Very good discount. The most lucrative discount though David would be is if you were to bundle your coverage. Bundling is a word now that is being synonymous in the industry where you keep your car and your home together. The bundling aspect is probably by far the highest discount we can provide on the homeowner product by having your car and home together okay and your boat and your snowmobile and all your other toys <laughs> Sorry. Um, john i know that a lot of people are consumed with just trying to get the lowest possible you know payment for their insurance is there a pitfall with that yeah very much so it's a great question because if uh, you purchase a policy that was just based on price you may end up finding at the point of a loss that your coverage is not there what you thought you might have had. Um, how about if people have like wedding rings or valuable belongings in their house that they want to include in their policy? Is there a particular place that they should be able to see that uh, to know and confirm? Wonderful question. Scheduled riders. That is quite a concern in the industry where folks, insurance is insurance. No, your homeowner's insurance policy differs by virtue of the endorsements that you may apply. Now in this situation, what I recommend for folks is we sit down in our first meeting, we normally establish that concern if that need exists in terms of specialty riders. There's a general policy will have restrictions and limits as to the coverage on the named item. If the named item falls off your ring or falls off your finger when you're uh, out uh, skiing on Lake Minnetonka, if you don't have a scheduled rider for it, then that's going to be a bad day. <laughs> mm -hmm. But most folks, we try to establish to see what their needs are and assess that, and we would name those particular items in a rider format on their policy. Okay. I, mean, I hear stories, horror stories sometimes, of people who have been through a casualty or a horrific event, and they need insurance, and it doesn't cover what they thought it did. Is there anything that people should specifically look for on their policy that will show them, you know, the amount of coverage or deductible or that kind of thing? Every policy that is sent out has a, what we call a declarations page. And in that declarations page, it gives the detailed coverage limits to the dwelling, other structures, personal property, liability, loss of use of your dwelling. That means if you aren't able to live in your property, it pays you to live elsewhere until your home is inhabitable again. And then as far as the exclusions, there is a page four into the policy, you'll see what is not covered on your policy. And that's a good place to start to see if you potentially might have a gap or a concern where we need to address that. John, when people decide to work with you and MetLife Home and Auto, what are your expectations for them? Well, what we try to do is we try to set up a connection where we're there for the customer at the point of sale, and unfortunately, sometimes at the point of loss. We're there for them to take that call if they're sitting on the side of the road with antifreeze dripping out of their car on the side of the freeway. We'd like to hear from them. So we try to put the promise out there that if you do have a situation where you have anything to do with the products that we sell and represent, you make us your first line of contact mm -hmm. at first, rather than having you call uh, an offshore 1-800 number where someone that you don't know or have never met We'll be working with you. You know, I have a lot of clients when they're buying property ask me how to save money on the closing costs when they buy. And whether you know it or not, uh, you get insurance through your mortgage provider at some point if you don't order it yourself. And so uh, one way to save on your closing costs, obviously, is to get another opinion. And I highly recommend giving John a call. If anything, it'll verify that the rates and coverage that you have are good. Otherwise, it'll give you another opinion and an option that's even better. How do people get a hold of you if they have questions? You bet, I'm at 952-897-0783. My address, my agency is 5100 Edina Industrial Boulevard, right on the corner of 
494 and Highway 100 in Edina. Well, thanks so much, John, for coming. We appreciate it. Thanks for having if me. If you have any insurance questions, make sure you give John a call. Thanks for watching.